Hi, my name is Father Ryan Salisbury. I'm the assistant pastor at St. Patrick's and a freshman theology teacher here at Pius. And as we're entering into the season of Lent, you know, one question a lot of times that will come up is, you know, Father, this season always feels like a very sorrowful season. Like when we go to Mass, music is always much more like dull and, you know, monotone and just kind of dreary. And even if people get married during the season of Lent, like they're told in marriage prep, like, you can't have a lot of flowers, music has to be kind of more subdued, and it does kind of create this, and not, not only that, but we're also in February and March, and it's just kind of this dreary, rainy, cold, snowy time, and so it does kind of create this feeling within us, is this a really a sorrowful season? And in a way it is, but also in a way, when you talk to people, they always say, I'm excited for Lent, I'm looking forward to Lent, and these two things dynamics that we're dealing with. Is it sorrowful or is it joyful? Well, the great answer in the Catholicism is we can always say it's both and. There is a sorrowful component to Lent. Like we're remembering the 40 days that Jesus spent out in the desert sacrificing and praying for all of us. And we're called during the season to imitate that. And whenever we have to do that, whenever we have to do any sort of extra sacrifice, whether it's giving up things or going beyond ourselves in extra forms of charity, there is a dying to ourselves that needs to happen. And whenever we have to die to ourselves, there is a sense of sorrow that comes with that because it's difficult, it's hard, it's a journey that takes time and it's kind of arduous. But we also know that we're an Easter people and we know ultimately where this journey is going to end up. We know that this journey ends with Jesus rising from the dead on Easter Sunday and that creates a joy. That creates something that we're looking forward to and something that all our hearts long for. And in order to get there, we realize that I have to imitate Christ. I have to follow him along this way. Through my sacrificing, through my extra works of charity, I am simply dying to myself to make more room for him. He who is the life, he who is the truth, he who is the way, he who is the light that scatters the darkness, he who is eternity wants to dwell within my life. And I get this season of Lent to die to myself to make more room for him, he who is the most important person in the world, who wants to dwell in my heart. And so when we do these sacrifices, when we do all these things, it does create a bit of a sorrow, but there is a joy that comes with it because we know we're making room for the Lord. And wherever the Lord is, there is joy. So this Lenten season, embrace the sorrow, but also know to embrace the joy that comes with it. When we die to ourselves, we're not simply just leaving an empty void. We're making room for the Lord, who is ready and preparing his way to come and dwell within us. So this season, do your sacrifices, do your prayers. Don't do them just because that's what Catholics do. Do them because that's an imitation of the Lord, who is ready to make his home with you, to dwell with you, to bring you his joy, the joy of eternity.